those are the same type of train cars that could carry that type of oil that could explode, killing thousands of people in Windsor because there is no proper inspection for them to be had in Windsor till they get to Toronto. Brothers and sisters, those are the fights that we have to come together and fight against. Those are the fights that we have to take on and the challenges that we have to work forward on. And that's only one example of the challenges that are ahead of us. That's why with the Windsor and District Labour Council, we work so hard, so hard to bring the different affiliate groups together, meet with the presidents on a regular basis, talking about what affects each one of our industries and each one of our sectors. That's why it's so important to sit up here and listen to Gail with regards to the challenges that they have in the public sector at the federal level, especially with postal workers. And that's why the postal workers through CUPW led the march here today for Labor Day. Let me also express some of the challenges that we have right here in Windsor with regards to some of the support staff, some of the clergy, our janitorial staff, that are being attacked by governments with regards to losing their post-retirement benefits. Brothers and sisters, right here in this community, we have challenges that affect our brothers and sisters, and we will need to march, and that's why I'm being so passionate up here, because it's going to rely on each and every one of us to stand up and speak out against the governments of the day that continue to beat us down, that continue to take advantage of us, that continue to fight us when we are in the right because they are the ones that agreed with the retirement benefits of those individuals. They agreed to give us what we negotiated over the last 30 years and the reality is now they wanted to take away with the stroke of a pen and we will be marching, we will be in front of Perusa's office making sure we make those demands front and center for each one of those retirees.